I'd like to share with you three assessments that have been helpful for me to appreciate myself. One is called Meaningful Purposeful Goals, and obviously that, you know, it wasn't a marketer who came up with that title. <laughs> Meaningful Purposeful Goals, it's a public domain resource that's available. It's based on Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. And what was so helpful for me is the values exercise. It asks you to think about your life through about eight different lenses. What are your hobbies? Who are your mentors? What songs do you like? Where do you go on vacation? And on and on. And then from that, you can call what are the most important things to you? What do you value the most? What are the themes that are coming through in each of those lenses on your life? And for me, when you know who you are in your value system, it helps then define what, what you choose to do, who you are with people, and where you're headed with your life. Now, my top value, my personal value, number one, is adventure. And people that don't know me very well, they're like, oh, you're really calm, and you're just chill, and, and you seem really quiet. I'm like, well, spend some time with me. Let's get some coffee. Adventure. I love adventure. New places, new people, new things, new foods, new music, all, all kinds of adventure. Try new things. My second personal value is nostalgia. Now, when I first learned that nostalgia was my second value, I was like, hmm, I need to dig into this a little bit. So I found an institute in the UK, and at first they said, people that have nostalgia as one of their kind of parts of their lives, um, one of their values, they're usually um, mentally crazy. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is encouraging. That's great. <laughs> so I'm crazy. And then it said, well, after further research, okay, good, further research, we learned that people that focus on nostalgia have more joy in the present. So they're not living in the past, they're bringing the past forward to the present, the good memories, the things that they just um, found fulfilling in the past to make the present more full. And I was like, oh, I like that better than being crazy. <laughs> so I, often a, a song will come up and I'll be like, I'm on it. I'm saying the lyrics because it just helps me fulfill the moment much more fully. Stretch Armstrong, like I was in the back cackling. I'm like, yeah, my brother had Stretch Armstrong. Like, the fond memories, the good things of life come forward to make more joy in the moment. My third value is influence. My fourth value is endurance. And my fifth value is actually self-appreciation. So just a quick note on endurance. Influence is pretty obvious, but endurance. I want to be the 111-year-old lady in the grocery store um, buying my softener salt, right, because we have hard water. And then, you know, somebody is saying, ma'am, can I help you carry that to your car? And I'm like, no, Sonny, I've still got it. So endurance to me has two aspects, strength, literally physical strength, and then spiritual strength as well.